Hello and welcome to PC Building Simulator's IT Expansion. If you didn't know, the IT Expansion is free for anybody who owns PC Building Simulator's base game. So if you haven't checked it out already, make sure your game's updated and go check out the IT Expansion. I've had a few people ask me to play through some of this. I don't know if this is going to be a full-on series or a limited series. And I suppose we'll kind of figure it out as we go along. Let me go ahead and continue this. Because I have already played some of this, so I'm not starting from the very beginning. If you want to see the very beginning, you'll have to go back and watch my version 1.13 update video where I actually played through a little bit of the campaign, uh, or a little bit of the IT expansion, I should say. So we're starting off at level 2. We've already got some stuff in here that needs to be fixed or upgraded or something. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out here in just a minute. So to get started, let me pull up the tablet here. Let's take a look at the emails. Let's see what we have going on. Actually, before I do that, let me hop here into gameplay settings. So if you haven't played this yet, there are some gameplay settings you can turn on. I think they're all off by default, so you can turn on free postage, you can turn on a cash boost, which I haven't done. You can turn on get more money from jobs, show hidden objectives, which I've turned on because that really saves you from having to read through the entire email to find out everything they want done. If you've watched any of my other series, on the career mode, I read through all the emails. And in this series, I really don't want to read through all the emails. I'd rather just see what needs to get done and work on some computers. So I have show hidden objectives turned on. Also, if you've never played PC Building Simulator, you can turn on this a PC Building Simulator Tutor. Hopefully you've played before, before you start playing the IT expansion. If you haven't, you should probably play some career mode or at least some free build and kind of learn the ropes with the game. Okay, so. Now let's pull up the tablet. Let's take a look here. We've got a nice email that I don't really need to read. We need to make sure the PC can boot to the operating system. We need to put document reader and make sure it's installed and working as well as flip, flip side. And we need to run blinked. We need to run blinked. So we can just click go to PC. I'm assuming it is this one right here. Let's nab that. I'm going to set it down over here on the workbench. We'll take a look at the next one. I want to get them all on the workbench and then we'll start ordering parts if we need to and working on them. So let's see the next one. Look at how long this email is. This is longer than the career mode emails and that's why I really don't want to read through all of them. And it's so much easier just to come down here to the objectives when you have show hidden objectives turned on. All right, so for this PC, well, let me adjust my microphone here. <laughs> for this PC, uh, of course, it needs to boot. We need Mugshot. We need to make sure it can run it at minimum spec, and we need to have it installed, and we need to fix the printer. So that's definitely something that we're going to have to do. Let's go back over here to the PC. Let's pick this one up. We'll have to take a look and see what the specs are and see what the specs are needed to run Mugshot, because I'm sure, I'm sure this PC does not have what's needed. Let's take a look at the stats real quick. A Ryzen 3... 8 gigs of RAM, and an RX 5600. Unfortunately, our tablet does not have Will It Run, so we'll have to go over to the PC, pull up Will It Run, and see what Mugshot requires. Let's come down here. Man, this list is long. <laughs> Mugshot CC. I'm pretty sure it said minimum spec. We can open up our email right here. So, minimum spec, Will It Run, we need 8 gigs of RAM, which they have, 4 gigs of VRAM, 8 gigs of storage. They need an i5, a 6600, and a 1050 Ti. A 1050 Ti. I don't think a 10, I don't think an RX 560 is as powerful as a 1050 Ti. Maybe it is. And a Ryzen 3 quad core, 3100. So Ryzen 3 3100. Let's open up the part part ranking. Uh, what was needed? A 6600. So, 6600 is going to be down here. Yep, there's so the Ryzen 3 is good. So, I'm pretty sure what they're running short on is the 1050 Ti. So, let's go back here to the part ranking 1050 a Ti. And let's see if we see. So, there's a 560, which is what I believe they have. Oops, that's not what I meant to click on. 
So yeah, they've got a, a 560. So we need to get a 1050 Ti for them to be able to run this. So let's hop into the shop. Let's come down here to graphics card. Whoa, too many clicks. <laughs> I did too many clicks. We need a 1050 Ti. And let's sort by price. Uh, let's do descending. We'll come down here to the bottom. Those are 1050s. So here's a 1050 Ti for 155 bucks. Let's add that to the cart. When does this need to be done by? It has no date. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully tomorrow will work. Okay, let's take a look at this last one here. Uh, it looks like they need a better graphics card. Man, these emails are so long. So they want a graphics card upgrade to be able to play video games. So, so right here, I'll let you in on a secret. I play video games. So I think this PC, I think their case is tiny. Yeah, they've got this little Ragentech or however you say that. This little Ragentech case. So let's go to the shop. I want to see... We come down here to cases. Uh, the biggest GPU we can put in there is 170 millimeters. That's not very big. <laughs> That's not very big. Let's see if we can sort this. Length. Let's do max. Oh, we can do 200. We can't do 170. 1660, 980. I don't know what's better, a 1660 or a 980. <laughs> 1660. Where's the 980s? Okay, 980 Ti. So I'm assuming a 1660, based on this, is going to be better. So, wait, that's 190. We need 170. Ooh. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go with one of these Sheehan, Sheehan cards. Because everything else is too big. Alright, so we're going to go with the 980. <laughs> Let's add that to the cart. This needs to be done in four days. Now this one had no no date. And this one, that was five days. Okay. So let's grab the last PC here. This is our boss's PC, Ira. Don't know if Ira's a man or a woman. <laughs> but we need to upgrade their PC for gaming. This one we've got to get a graphics card in for. And this one we just need to install some stuff on it. So let's do that first. Get a USB drive in here. Power this thing on. I'm going to hop into their BIOS real quick. Let's see if we need to turn on XMP. Doesn't look like it. I guess we're good on that. And then they need Documund. And what was the other one? Flipside. No, I don't want to restart yet. Flip side. And then we needed to also run Blinked. So we'll need to install that as well. Where is Blinked? There's Blinked. Now we can restart the sucker. What does Blinked do? The internet is a terrible place. Let Blinked take you there. <laughs> Click start to analyze and optimize network adapter configuration. All right, well, they seem to be having some internet issues, and this looks like some strange sonar. Uh, connection established. Uh, okay. Okay, so that's done. That was super simple. <laughs> Go ahead and stick that over here. Let's see. Let's pull up the tablet. 
Uh, this one is done. We can go ahead and collect. All looks good now. Cheers. Cool. Cool deal. Let's discard that. And then for this other stuff, we need... I keep wanting to go to the PC, but I'm just going to use the shop here because it's the same thing. Let's do next day delivery. Save a little bit of money. We'll go ahead and buy both of these. I should have checked. I should have checked on this to see what kind of power supply it has. Hopefully it's got enough juice to run a 980. Uh, I guess we'll find out. All right, let's end this day. Let's get our parts in. Probably more, more, <laughs> more PCs to work on. Uh, we'll take a look at those in a minute. Let's finish up the ones we've got on the workbench. So this one just needs a graphics card update. Or upgrade, I should say. And we are putting in the 1050 Ti. So there we go. And then we need to make sure Mugshot is installed and working. So let's grab a USB drive because I don't know if it's installed on here. RAM looks like it's installed correctly. Let's power this on. I want to hop into their BIOS real fast. Man, this is some this is some old looking BIOS. Man alive. They don't need XMP turned on. It's all good. Okay. So, Mugshot. Mugshot CC. I'm assuming this is supposed to be kind of like Photoshop. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, thing. Man, they got slow hard drive in here. Uh, we also need to fix the printer issue. I probably should have done that before I ended the day, but you know what? Let's go do it now. Printer's red. Uh, fix a paper jam. Does opening the drawers fix the paper jam? What about bashing it? Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, that, that, <laughs> that seemed to fix the, uh, fix the jam issue. Okay. All right. So this is done. Let's go put this in the delivery area. We should be able to collect this one. And let's take a look at our boss's PC here. Uh, hopefully, 550 watt power supply. Hmm. Let's hope that's enough to run the 980. Oh, they had a GT 1030 in there. Uh, no wonder. This 980 doesn't have a external power requirement. Okay, well. Yeah. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, I'm I'm going to get a USB drive in there because it says we need to remove viruses as well. See if this thing powers on. I definitely want to check the BIOS. I'm pretty sure I've already worked on this. Oh, didn't turn XMP on, though. I was going to say, I think I added RAM to this already. So... I guess I just failed to check XMP. Okay. Let's get the virus scanner on here. And we will remove some viruses, maybe. <laughs> Restart. Why are all these PCs incredibly slow? I guess they're just basic office PCs, huh? Just uh, running the most garbage of garbage. 241 files infected. Well, he needs to stay off of those dirty websites. Or she. I, I, I don't know. It's Their name's Ira. I guess that could be either a man or a woman. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Let's open up the email here. Let's collect these let's see this one was for mugshot cc let's go ahead and collect that 
You're honestly my angel right now. I can't wait to get onboarding started and finally meet you in person. Won't be long now, I promise. Okay, good. Need to get onboarded for sure. And this one's the one for the boss. So let's collect that. Oh, this is much better. And just in time too, I've got a big meeting in two hours and daddy needs a win. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. All right, so we've got a PC, looks like, uh, that we need to diagnose and fix, replace RAM, and put data mine on there. And then this one, we need to install RAM and get Typo installed and working. So let's grab this PC. And we'll get it put there. We'll see what they need for RAM here in a minute. And then let's grab this one and put it over here. But it seems like both of them need RAM. So I'm assuming I'm going to have to read a little bit. The RAM is vanishing overnight. Assume you can replace it, but still, I think all the important stuff. While you're fixing it, my old team was all about typo. I do miss them. Help me relive the good old days, please. So they have missing parts. They're just straight up missing their RAM. That's incredibly weird. They don't say how much RAM they need. So, right, okay, so we just need <laughs> we just need to get them some RAM in general. Let's get, I mean, this is an office PC. They don't need anything too awfully fancy, I wouldn't think. Let's get them two sticks of the A-Data Premiere. And then we need to install some stuff. I don't understand how they lost their RAM. That's pretty weird. And <laughs> And this one, we need to replace the RAM. So let's go back here. We'll go back to this email. You take a look at my RAM. It's not working for some reason. So they've got some Team Group T-Force Dark 2800 megahertz, 16 gig stuff. So maybe we should just go ahead and order one of these. Let's go back to the shop. We're already here in RAM. Let's order one of those. That might be all we need for that one. So this is due in five days. This one is due in five days. So we should be able to order uh, all of this stuff and have it come in the next day. But let's see if this power's on at all. No RAM. They do have a sticker RAM in there, but it is not being recognized. And then this just straight up doesn't have, you can just totally see that there is not a single stick of RAM <laughs> in this in this PC. So let's go ahead. Let's go back to our shop. Let's go to the cart. Let's go ahead and get this for next day delivery because three to five days, that just, that seems too long. Go ahead and buy it now. We'll go end our day and we should get everything in. We can fix those PCs and get them out of here. And go to work. Oh, and we got another PC in that needs an upgrade. So I'll have to take a look at that in a minute. But first, first, I'm going to remove this humongous cooler and we're going to put some RAM in this. In the, uh oh, no, don't, un no, don't unplug. There we go. We're going to put some RAM in this computer. We got two sticks of this A data stuff. It's four gigs, a 21, 33 megahertz. And then we'll go ahead and put some fresh thermal paste on the CPU. And where's the cooler? There it is. We'll get their cooler back on and plugged in. Let's see if this sucker powers up. I don't know why I'm hopping into the BIOS because it's obviously going to run at 2133 because that is what we bought. Go ahead and let this reboot. I want to get a USB drive installed because we need to put typo on here. So let's go here. Let's scroll down to typo. And once this restarts, it should be done. I'm going to go ahead and put the side panel back on here. There we go. There we go. 
And that's done. Let's snatch that off the workbench and go ahead. We didn't even let it fully boot. <laughs> we'll go ahead and put it there. And then for this one, we need to replace this RAM. Can we sneak this RAM out without? Oh, we can. Okay. And we'll go to memory. And their RAM is broken, so it definitely needed to be replaced. We'll get the new stick of RAM put in. And then we need to put data mine on here. So we'll grab a USB drive. We'll power this on. I, again, I don't know. We'll hop into the BIOS and just see if we need to turn on XMP or not. There we go. We did. We'll let this reboot. We will install data mine. And this PC will be ready to go. What kind of file is this? F U U U U U U. That's not very nice. All right, data mine. Data mine. There it is. Yep, restart. And we can go ahead and put the side panel back on this guy. So I guess we don't need to run data mine. User error access denied, employees only. Okay. All right. All right. Well, this one's ready to go out here into the delivery area, and we should be able to collect both of these. Why do we have to wear these ridiculous ties? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this says offsite jobs. Eurotech has several offices and sometimes you'll need to visit them to help with IT issues. While you're offsite, you can still order any parts you need. Just remember, they'll be delivered to your main workshop. All right. Well, we make it to that in this episode. We'll have to see, but let's go ahead and collect this other one. This just says, ah, cool, cool, cool. All right. Suppose they are happy with it working. Ira now needs... So uh, Ira needs a, a Team Group T-Force Vulcan 1 terabyte SSD installed, as well as Typo and Sellout. Got a lot of files to go through. Well, all right. All right, so let's get... Let's go to the shop. Storage. Uh, 1 terabyte. Here it is right here. I already had T-Force typed in. Team Group T-Force Vulcan... Let's add that to the cart. Was there anything else? Nope, just that. Let's take a look at this day trip one, though. Got roped into working at our Northwest offices for a week. The PC they've given me is full of junk. Has t literal gigabytes of total random apps and files. When you come up and erase everything for me, just format the drive so I can start fresh. So all we need to do is format the drive and reinstall the operating system. So we will get to that, but first, let's go ahead. When does that need to be done by? Uh, there's no there's no date. So let's go ahead. Let's order this for next day delivery. We'll go ahead and install this, and then we'll go do the off-site thing. So it'll arrive tomorrow. That's the PC we need to work on. Let's go ahead and end the day. I got a bunch more stuff. Man, it really does feel like I'm working in IT for a big company. Oops. Totally forgot to grab Ira's PC. Okay. So, let's see. They already have an SSD up there, so I'm assuming we can install one down here. Okay, so that's all good. So let's go ahead and put the side panel back on. And then we need to put typo and sell out on there. So let me grab USB drive. We'll power this on. And then we'll go check out the off-site job. Typo. And sell out. Once this reboots, we should be good to go. Wait for everything to turn green. There we go. <laughs> Snatch that up before it finishes its startup. All right, now we can pull up our tablet. We should be able to go ahead and 
collect this one from Ira. Fantastic, now I can begin my investigation. Those penny-pinching traders won't get away with this. All right, we'll discard that. Let's do this day trip. Let's do this, and that'll be the last thing we do for this episode. But let's go check out, let's see, visit location offsite. We're going to hop in our little Honda Civic, it looks like. And here we are. And I popped an achievement. Free at last. You guys can't see it, but it's there. Trust me. <laughs> so we just need to format this drive. And I think we use a USB. I'm trying to remember exactly how to do this. Let's see, what was the... I think it was E-Rays. I think E-Rays is what gets rid of everything on one of these computers. So we're about to find out if I remember right from the IT expansion beta. Because these are all basically the same jobs. It's just been quite a long time since I played the beta. Evidence? What evidence? Get a fresh start with E-Rays. Warning, clicking start will delete all data on PC. That is exactly what we want to do. We're going to let this thing E-Rays everything off of the drive. And then hopefully it'll boot up and do a fresh install of the operating system. There we go. That's doing exactly what we wanted it to do. Perfect. 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 All right, now how do we get back home? <laughs> we're back to the office. Uh, so we're all good here. Let's return to the workshop. Get back in our little car. Okay, so we should be able to collect this one. There we go. You're so sweet. Thank you for dropping by again. Super sorry that I can't start your onboarding yet, but we'll get it done as soon as I'm back. All right. All right, so we've got some more stuff that needs to get done, but we're going to wait until the next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Also, if you want to help support the channel, there is a link to my Patreon down in the description. There's also a join button next to the subscribe button. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next episode.